For centuries, humans have traveled far and wide to find new places full of unique life forms and cultures, discover new lands, and find others like them. Since the first ever space race that began in 1957 with Sputnik, humans have been driven by a constant desire to surpass our limits. As we strive to push beyond the natural boundaries of our planet, our attention has turned to Mars as the next frontier in human evolution. Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, is the most Earth-like planet in our solar system, according to NASA and its extensive research. It has a similar length of day, seasons, and is covered in dust, rocks, and soil, much like the Earth. However, establishing a human presence on Mars is currently impractical with our existing technology and incomplete knowledge of the Red Planet. It is necessary to first address the current limitations and obstacles in order to make the prospect of humans inhabiting Mars a reality. The potential benefits for colonizing Mars are vast. Mars has raw materials to support life, such as carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen, all in accessible forms, like CO2 gas, nitrogen gas, and water ice. Additionally, colonizing Mars would serve as a backup plan for humanity. If anything were to happen to Earth, humanity would still have a chance of survival on Mars. According to NASA, in order to make colonizing Mars a reality, we need to conduct our interplanetary mission in three steps. Earth Reliant, Proving Ground, and Earth Independent. Each step is vital as we create reliable, renewable, and cost-efficient systems to get us there and ensure future generations have a chance of survival on Mars. The first step is Earth Reliant. The focus is on human health and safety, crew health and well-being, cost and sustainability, and international cooperation. In the harsh environment of space, every essential item must either be brought along or manufactured on site. Astronauts must generate their own oxygen and water, utilizing their surroundings and recycling fluids above the spacecraft. But extended periods of weightlessness take a toll on the human body, resulting in a staggering 65% reduction in strength, muscle atrophy, and 14% bone loss after just a few months in space. Treadmills are a good way to replicate stress that gravity has on our bodies, but they do not prevent it. On Mars, astronauts will experience a third of Earth's gravity, meaning they will still lose muscle and skeletal mass off the spacecraft, unless they take preventative measures. The second step towards Mars colonization is proving ground which involves researching and testing as much as the Mars mission as possible on Earth before sending humans there. It is important to utilize Mars-like environments on Earth, such as deserts and the Arctic, to test technologies and simulate the conditions that astronauts will experience on Mars. This includes testing habitats, spacesuits, and communication systems, as well as practicing exploration and resource extraction techniques. The final step is Earth Independent. This step will involve developing self-sustaining systems to support human life on Mars. The focus will be on creating reliable systems for water, oxygen, and food production, energy generation, waste management, and radiation protection. The Mars mission presents a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for astronauts to step on another planet and return to Earth as pioneers. Only the best with strong mental capabilities and a thirst for knowledge will be chosen for this historic undertaking. Once established on Mars, the question arises of what to do next. While some advocate for terraforming the planet as a backup for Earth, NASA opposes this in favor of preserving Mars for scientific research. Others dream of a self-sustaining autonomous state that taps into the planet's natural resources while some suggest underground habitats as the key to cultivating a new generation of humans, Martians, who can thrive on Mars without the need for spacesuits. The possibilities for growth and expansion in the future are limitless, and although it may seem early to think about a Mars colony, the next generation will face the challenges of exploring space and the rewards of discovering the last frontier.